pleasure of speaking to Hollywood legend and Jurassic Park original Jeff Goldblum ahead of the franchise's latest instalment. But just before we started the interview, we caught him trying to remember our names. Let's see, Philip, where, Philip Schofield. Oh, yes, I've seen them before. Yes, you've been in the studio before. Of course, and Holly. Holly Willoughby. Willoughby. Yeah. Phil, Philip, Philip Willoughby. Yes, and, and Holly. Holly <laughs> Schofield. <laughs> Philip Willoughby. Philip Schofield. No. Philip Schofield. Yeah. Philip Schofield and Holly They're Willoughby. Uh, Philip, Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby. Correct. Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield. And how long do we have to speak to Philip Schofield and Can Holly you hear Willoughby? Doug talking to you now. Uh, is this uh, Holly uh, Willoughby and <laughs> Philip Schofield? It certainly is. Yes, it's, it's, well done. Well done. We've been watching you practicing Holly. our names. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you. I knew you were peering at me. Now I'm going to imagine you always like the Truman Show peering in at me. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Well, he uh, got that in the end. Thank God he did, because he told us what we can expect from the sixth and final instalment in the Jurassic Park series, Jurassic World Dominion. So oh, excited about this one. We're delighted to say that Jeff Goldblum is joining us this morning, and it is so lovely to see you. We wish that you were here in the studio with us. It's absolutely to be seen by you, and I so wish that I was I was there. I'd give you a, both a hug. I'm, I'm crazy about the both of you, and uh, I'll see you soon, I hope. Yeah, I, I hope, hope so, so, too. I did say to Holly this morning, that's a shame he's not in, because he is such a good hugger. Mm -hmm. uh, but nevertheless, we are down the line for the moment, mm -hmm. um, and the film is amazing. This is, um, this is, we're led to believe, this is the final one. Well, it's the final one. Thank you so much. I'm glad I'm eager to hear your feedback because not nobody has seen it yet. Hasn't even premiered. Comes out uh, June 10th here. But uh, uh, I'm so interested that you like it. That's that's what we hope. And um, and yes, isn't it? Uh, isn't it something? Yes, this is the wrap-up of the story that started almost 30 years ago now in Jurassic Park with our characters, Dr. Ian Malcolm and Laura Dern, and her character, Ellie Sattler, and uh, Alan Grant, played by the great Sam Neill. So it, re it, it reintroduces us into this uh, odyssey and wraps up, yes, we can say, our character as we're mashed up with the world we cast, uh, and then an extended cast cast Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard, and it kind of uh, finds a logical and hopefully interesting and satisfying and exciting way to uh, have us together and kind of finish our story. And it's different than the other movies, isn't it? The Jurassic movies, it's, it's all over the world now, and it's very exciting, and it's heart-stopping, and nerve-jangling, and wondrous, and finally, cautionary a tale as it is, Rather hopeful at the end, I think. Mm. Well, that was a lovely interview. Thanks for talking to us. <laughs> <laughs> You've done That's the whole our thing. show, Drive Safely. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, your character in particular, though, because we've sort of seen him return, and it seems like this is a man who's very much dedicated to study, but there seems more that he sort of is sort of addicted to the unpredictability of what this sort of thing surrounds him. I think I know what you mean. Um, thank you, Holly. Yeah, my character uh, sort of specializes in trained as he is and devo devoting his, his life as he has in chaos theory, so-called. It's about unintended consequences and the unpredictability of life and circumstances and systems. Uh, but I think at this point, he revels in and accepts the, uh, the, the uh, strange mysterious surprises in life, but but uh, relishes the delicious ride. What I love here is that, I mean, all of the other movies have been set on the island, um, which is sort of fantasy, and then uh, now the, the, the dinosaurs are out, they're mm. in the world. Now you finally get to see, because it was almost, you know, it was a very posh zoo, uh, you get to see who really are the apex predators, because they are out amongst us, they are living and they are hunting. That's correct. That's correct. Yes. Yeah, we tell a story of dinosaurs everywhere that we are. And finally, yes, it's a matter of, you know, who's who's stronger, of course, and faster sometimes in the short term. But in the larger and long term, it's about can we all coexist? I mean, after all, they're doing what they do, just like real 
animals and creatures on our diverse planet do. And the question in the fantasy world, as in the real world, is can we, amongst ourselves and with the marvelous array of creatures that are here, uh, coexist peacefully, where all of us uh, living beings get a chance to have liberty and safety. Um, can you actually believe it's been 30 years since the original movie? I was trying to think, I was sort of, I think I was 11. It was the first film I went to see at the cinema twice because I loved it so much. But where did that 30 years go? Where did the 30 years go? That's a good question, Holly. You saw it twice, how about that? I saw it a couple of times, and even recently with my kids, I've got now a almost seven-year-old boy and a Emily and I have a, a, a you know, five-year-old river. They're gonna see it in cinemas in a movie theater for the first time. That's where this should be experienced, I think. But 30 years, isn't it something how it goes and, and we're here just uh, quickly. Life is a one, wonderful and mysterious thing, I think, Holly. Isn't that the truth? But did you just say that Charlie and River have never been to a movie theater with their dad as a movie star? Have you not taken them to the, to the cinema? Uh, not yet. No, we. In fact, we've keep we've kept the well, COVID, you know, happened and all that, and, and we keep them as much as possible off of screen time. We don't want them to be those kids who are just playing games and can hardly say hello. Uh, you know, we want them to be real, authentic, and involved with nature, as we talk about uh, uh, in the movie and life and other people and connected uh, without being uh, screeny about it. Me too. I'm trying to limit and be discreet about my my time uh, on the devices, uh, but I, I love movies and I can't wait to show them some movies I have already on TV, uh, including Jurassic Park and the next one. And they say they're raring to go, but they've never been to, to a movie theater. And I think this one, it's gonna be bigger. We're gonna take them to an IMAX screening of it and uh, it's gonna be loud yeah, and yeah. exciting. It's gonna be daylight, and so they'll be far out. It's gonna terrify them. <laughs> so part of it though. You think it? so? <laughs> well, if I, we'll be, I'll be at the ready and if they're too traumatized, I'll, I'll get them out of there if they, if they need me to. But you know, I, I hope we all get a kick out of it. I think they may. Thank you so much for, for Good talking to, see to you. you. Do you know, I, I was watching, there's a, uh, a new show out uh, called Prehistoric Planet. It's on Apple TV. It's got um, Attenborough, who's looking at... It's, it's one of those big natural hi history shows, but it's dinosaurs, and it's the most... Uh, much like mm -hmm. uh, your movie, the technology has come on so much. There is something about dinosaurs that we just still love. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Isn't that uh, kind of wondrous and uh, mysterious. Maybe it's that they really existed. It tells the story, as we know about them, uh, of the planet and how there have been other species more successful than ours so far that came and went, and maybe it makes us feel a little bit humble uh, in a pleasurable way and uh, in a nutritious way. And of course, you know, We've had, as a species, our encounters with tooth and claw of one kind or another, and it probably is, there's still something in us that uh, is excited and delighted by, by that. And this uh, interesting fantasy that Michael Crichton wrote uh, um, smartly about all these years, years yeah. ago. Amazing. Jeff, thank, thank you, you so much. Great it's lovely to, see lovely to talk to you. Jurassic World Dominion is out this Friday. Always a pleasure. Please come in next time. I will. I'd love to. So nice to talk to you guys. Be well. Stay, stay well here.